Good morning, this is Christina with Infinity of Denver. Today we're looking at a 2018 Infinity Q50. This is a 3.0T Lux all-wheel drive car. So the 3.0 actually standard stands for a 3.0 um, liter. Um, of course, this car has all-wheel drive. And let's start with a look, honestly, under the hood and see what we're looking at here. So underneath the hood, it's got quite a bit of power. You've got that three liter. It's a six cylinder, seven speed automatic transmission with manual shift mode and downshift rev matching. This engine actually won the Ward's 10 best engines um, for 2018. So you've definitely got not only power, but also reliability under the hood of this car definitely count on this engine to get you where you're going with a smile on your face for sure too a little bit more about this car it is in a graphite shadow which is a darker silver and then a graphite interior this car is a certified pre-owned car it's got 7522 miles on its engine and the stock number is c9500 this car um, does have the essential package, um, which does up the MSRP. The original MSRP on this car was $45,930. That essential package, um, we'll go over it um, right now, but when we hop in the inside, it's really when it comes into play. The essential package includes Sirius XM, voice recognition for navigation, the Infinity InTouch services, InTouch navigation with lane guidance and 3D building graphics. 60-40 split for the rear seat with a pass-through, power lumbar, heated front seats, and a steering wheel, and remote engine start. So you've got um, two key fobs with a certified pre-owned car. If you lock the car twice and hold down the remote start engine button, which is the top button, on the top of your key fob, it's like a little um, twisty circle there. You can go ahead and fire up the engine. And let's look at the outside of this car. On the outside, it's very windy today, you have um, your fob, which controls unlocking, locking the doors, um, of course your remote engine start, you can pop open the trunk as well, and you have a, um, an emergency like panic button as well. You do have a perimeter alarm. On the outside of the car, you have outside mirrors with integrated turn signals, and these are of course um, heated with those integrated signals. Looking at the front of the car, you have fully automatic projector beam, LED low and high beams daytime running lights with an automatic delay off feature. You have a little bit of light tinted glass on your windows. Let's look around the outside of the car. It's in really great condition. On the back, you do have LED tail lights. You've got a backup camera, which is hidden right here. Of course, you've got chrome accents on the front grille, on the back, you've got a dual exhaust system as well. Let's have a look at the inside of the trunk. Like I said, you can pop that open by holding down your trunk release. There's that 60-40 split. You can put down your seats using this lever or this one over here. You've got your Infinity First Aid Kit, which has never been opened. And what else have we got here? A trunk net as well, never been opened. You've got your carpets. And of course, a pretty generous trunk with a pass-through. Definitely can fit, like a set of golf clubs back here. I know I had to pop those in my car too, pretty recently. You've got perimeter approach lights. You've got 18 inch alloy wheels. 
These are machine finished with the Lux design, which is definitely an upgrade. On the front of the car, you've got speed sensitive rain detecting intermittent windshield wipers. Let's go ahead, let's hop onto the inside of the car. All right. So before we actually hop in, I always want to go over how we have power adjustable seats. So you've got eight way, I believe, power adjustable seats with lumbar support, which is power supported. Leather pointed seats. You've got one touch for um, all four of your windows. You've got a gorgeous wood trim with aluminum finishes as well. There's a lot to go over um, on the inside of this car. So you do have um, home link with an automatic dimming mirror. So you can connect that to your garage door opener. Of course, you've got a one touch sunroof. So you can do one touch of a button. The sunroof will open up. It will also tilt as well. So in case you just want a little bit of air and not the whole air blowing on you. You've got navigation, so you've got two screens. Your top screen is eight inches, your lower screen is seven inches. They're both LCD screens. Excuse me. You've got um, HD radio with six speakers throughout the car, including little tweeters and then the, the larger speakers down here at the bottom. And speakers here as well. With your navigation, that's touch screen, so you can zoom in, zoom out. You've also got controls here. You can zoom in, zoom out, click on things with that. You've got a map and a voice button here. So you can, like I said, zoom in, zoom out using that um, little adjuster there at the bottom. Um, you do have a brightness adjuster for night and day down here as well. There's your manual drive mode. If you put your foot on um, the brake, Put it into drive, move it over to the left. There's a car actually firing up there with the infinity symbol and the in touch. You can see you've got it in first gear now in the manual mode. You can change the gears manually that way, which is great for going up and down the mountains if you do do that a lot. I love that infinity still has a touch screen, but you can also um, control things with the push of a button. So you've got your climate control, your radio controls here. Of course, you've got your heated seats, but you can also control climate using your touchscreen, your heated steering, heated leather steering wheel, and you can control your heated seats where the air is blowing, the temperature, of course, um, here as well. You've got your main menu, which will control your navigation, your settings, your phone. Of course, you've got Bluetooth connectivity for your phone as well as Bluetooth streaming audio. So if you go here, you can see you've got FM, Sirius, AM, a disc, which saves um, music to your car, an iPod, and then Bluetooth streaming audio connectivity as well. Got a lot of different settings here. So if you do go to FM, you have um, one, two, three, four, five, six pages that you can save with your own personalized music stations, which I really like. On your steering wheel, you of course have controls for um, your sound your voice, your phone, you've got cruise control, and then your display settings. So these buttons actually will control your display up here, your compass, radio, um, tire pressure monitoring, which will um, engage once you start driving the car, um, service reminders, warnings like your door is open, and then of course your range for how much gas you've got left, your speed average miles per hour, and then your average fuel economy. So. Um, all of that good stuff there. Do you have two chargers in the car? One up here. This is of course velvet lined, very soft, very nice. You've got your cup holders and your drive mode selector. Your drive mode selector allows you to change between personal, sport, standard, eco, and snow. Um, sport is going to give you a revier or sportier sound and feel. Rev your engine at a higher RPM. Standard, regular, standard mode. 
Eco, change your gears at a little bit of a lower RPM to get better gas mileage and of course snow if you are out in bad weather and personal is going to be a personalized mode just for you. Inside your center console which is also lined, it's very nice, We've got two USB, an auxiliary and another charging port here. And then it looks like you've got controls for um, the brightness of your car there. You've got your passenger seat here. The asymmetrical infinity design, which definitely adds intrigue to the eye lines of the car. You have um, voice controls on your steering wheel for audio and vehicle information as well as navigation. And you can use um, the phone to make voice commands like to make calls hands-free as well or text people. You also have speed sensing steering, so your um, steering wheel will adjust to the speed and change accordingly. Let's have a hop into the back seat of the car, that way we can look at what that looks like and go from there. can't tell a lot of the difference between this and one of our new cars because it's in really exceptional shape. One of our very nice used cars. Of course you've got a climate control in the back so your folks in the back seat don't get hot. You've got storage in the back seats as well. And there you can see a really good view of the entire front of the car. I'm going to do another walk around of the outside of the car so you can take in the condition of everything. And then if you have any other questions, please do let me know. sparkles when it catches the sunshine it looks really pretty got the pearl paint which makes it look really gorgeous when the sun shines on it my practical side says gray that doesn't get dirty as easily as white or black <laughs> all right you do also have a clear bra protector on the front of the car which you can see here which extends to your mirrors and then protectors on the inside of the doors as well. Again, my name's Christine. I'm with Infinity of Denver.